When you hear the word Afghanistan, images of war and terrorism tend to resonate in your mind. But for the leaders of the Afghan National Olympic Committee and youth programs, they're trying to change that perception and replace it with sports. To not let the kids fall the victim of the uh, Taliban as far as using them for suicide attack and other stuff. So a true sport, we're trying to attract them to do other stuff than be more, because they are more vulnerable to be, you know, recruited by them and used by them. And so that's why we, went through our sport program, we're trying to just get them more in this side so they don't fall victim of insurgents. Seventy percent of Afghanistan's population is under the age of 30, okay, 70 percent. And so they're all considered youth, mm -hmm. okay? And so what are the venues that they have uh, and what are the opportunities that they have to do with their time, particularly if they don't have uh, full-time jobs? Mm -hmm. So sports is one avenue that we can channel people's energies into instead of letting them run the streets. Rear Admiral Hal Pittman has been a longtime AU member and believes the AAU organizational structure is one that could jumpstart youth sports in Afghanistan. Along with the AAU model, General Akbar hopes to one day open a sports academy similar to the one they visited at IMG Academies in Bradenton, Florida. The uh, head of the Olympic has mentioned that he's uh, uh, thinking about creating a sport uh, school, uh, so that would be very nice uh, to 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 make sport as a culture to to be acceptable by all people of Afghanistan. General Akbar is dedicated to the youth sports movement in Afghanistan, and with international help, there will be change. If we stop the interference of our neighboring in our internal affairs. Uh, I know we are able to give a sport champion instead of drug warlord champions.